You're listening to the Higher Ideas Podcast, where ideas grow. Connect on Twitter, YouTube, iTunes, or higherideas.net. Now here's your host, I. Hi everybody, and welcome back to the Higher Ideas Podcast. Life is a funny thing, isn't it? It has quirks. It has certain behaviors. It does things once in a while that we all know it does. We sort of all acknowledge it. There's no science behind it, but we all know that it does this once in a while. One such quirk is coincidence. Every once in a while in a life, usually I would guess very rarely, there's moments that happen where you are almost out of reality and disbelief at the coincidence of something happening. What were the odds this would happen? And it seems like something led to this, hey, this thing that happened yesterday totally made this happen today. And this is such an insane moment, it seems like it was meant to be, right? Now, there's a whole discussion you can have about whether that's from chance or if there's a force behind it. I'm not going to get into that. I just want to talk about the experience that just happened. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm excited today because I just had one of these moments. I want to tell you about this moment but it's going to require me to reveal a lot more about myself than I had so far. I was taking my time introducing myself to you, and I'm going to have to skip ahead on a few things just so I can tell you this story right now. And here are the pieces you need in place before I can tell you what happened. One, I'm an artist. I'm an artist who, a long time ago, decided to go a corporate direction, and it's been pretty good for me. However, Going that direction is a regret of mine, in a way. It's led to the death of the real artist in me, slowly. You know, I'm still an artist, but there's a certain fire that was there before that has died slowly over the years. I now can make art as I want, but there is a passion that's gone. And this is, of course, from working in a corporation. It just does that. And I would not change that for anything, because I understand that through the troubles that I've had over the years, including this path that I've taken, that seems negative and destructive to myself, it has led me to the point I'm at this year, which has been the most amazing, transformative year I've ever had. It's the one that's brought me here, doing this, among many other things that I will discuss eventually. And I understand I would not have gotten here without going through the path I took, so I would not take it back. But I see now how I could have saved a lot of time if I went a different direction earlier, because I am now back at the point where I made the decision to go corporate. I have gone backwards, and I'm back at a pure place of connecting to my heart and remembering where I want to go and what I want to do in this world with this life, this one life of mine. And it's been causing me to consider many changes and take on many projects like this one. Now, <clears throat> that's the first part. The second part is that this year for me has been amazing, partly because it has been peppered more than any other year of my life with coincidental moments that seem unreal and meant to be. In a strange way, I've been watching this year unravel and becoming more of a man of faith, in a way. Faith in this weird pattern that makes sense to all the random events of life. And I've been sort of sitting back watching it un unfold in front of me, in awe, in real awe, and excitement at the same time. But this week has been the most coincidental week of my life. I will not take all the time to get into the exact coincidences that happened this week. But know that every single day this week, I have had one major mind-blowing coincidence after another. Every single day, one. And each one has tied into the next. The first coincidence led me to the second coincidence, led me to the third directly. And that led me in a very interesting direction, because actually I've been researching faiths of the world lately. Not in search of a religion, but just... As a study, I've been able to appreciate religious scriptures lately on a more poetic level, just looking for life lessons inside that are good, good to have, no matter where they come from, or common themes 
that may point to some truth behind everything. And I've been considering things and just being open-minded. And the coincidences of this week led me to study Hindu religions and just listen to information about it. Today, I was hearing about a specific Hindu deity. Now, this deity is called Hanuman. Now, Hanuman is the god you may have seen pictures of in Hindu art, which is the body of a man and the big sort of pouty face of a monkey. It looks kind of silly, so artistically, I never really connected to that image. But the story of Hanuman is very inter- is very nice. Basically, Hanuman represents the idea of being open to serve whatever need is around you, which you can help. Let me be open to my universe and just pay attention for where I might help. And that's a really interesting concept, so I was running this concept in my mind pretty much throughout the day after hearing about it. It's a worthy thing to aspire for, so it's kind of a cool, cool character. Now there's one last piece I need to put in place before I get into this. I've had this idea for the podcast that really excites me, but I've been too limited to do it myself. I mean, it I won't be vague. I want to start approaching random people on the subway with a voice recorder and having deep conversations with them, bringing up a deep topic. What do you think about this or that? You know, just record conversations with strangers on a subway and see what amazing things might come of it. And make a podcast out of it. Put it on this podcast as special episodes. And I really want to do this. And I actually tried a little bit. But understand that I am very shy. I'm a very shy person. Especially around strangers I do not know at all. I'm very, very shy to approach. And I actually tried it, and it failed because I was shy and nervous. So that was a flop, and I've been sort of in a funk about it since then. I haven't tried again. Now, these are all the pieces you need for the story. Sorry it took so long. So I was on the subway, on the way back home, late this evening. It was the later subway crowd, the more greedy, colorful folk of the city. Uh, You know, young people tired after partying, just really more, um, less mainstream and more down-to-earth type you know, rough and tough people on the subway. And in front of me, directly in front of me, taking up three seats, was a homeless lady. And she was in pretty rough shape. She had a bandaged leg that looked swollen, possibly sick. She was sitting on one hip, sprawled across the three seats, as if there was something wrong with her hips as well. So she was sort of half laying on the subway seat. Her face was swollen in all sorts of uh, just really rough ways. You felt bad. Definitely she was not having an easy life. And I was watching her and I was thinking of the story of this deity. This story of this idea of being open to opportunities to help. Just watching the universe for, for things you can do. And I was watching this lady and and asking myself, right now, here, looking at this old lady, what can I do for her? Well, I don't know what I can do for her. I was sort of paralyzed. And so I decided, you know what, let me just be open. Let me watch her. And if she needs anything, if she gets up and sort of stumbles, needs a hand, I'll be right there. I'll just watch for a moment that I am needed, and I will jump to it and see what happens. So I was sort of playing with this concept of opening my my feelers out and just waiting. What will you give me where I can help? And in my mind, I was sort of saying, saying, all right, universe, here's your chance. I'm watching. I'm open. Give me something to, to help. Give me an opportunity to test this idea. And as I was thinking this, focused on the old lady, sure that if it would happen, it would come from her. Off directly to my right, on the seats facing me, right on my legs. There are two guys sitting, and I start to hear one of them talking about how he's an artist, and he's feeling frustrated. He's a young artist, he's seeing the corporate direction, and everything seems to be steering him that way. Society seems to say, go into a company and make money, that's the goal. 
but in his heart he feels he wants to do something else he wants to do art for the purity of art he wants to express himself he wants to live and feel and he wants to create real things that people that will touch people and that was me and that's me now again and I'm listening to this guy talk and it is cutting into my heart every word perfectly said exactly how I feel and felt in the past and I was sort of fighting with myself saying my god is this the moment is this an opportunity I have to talk to this guy I have to but I couldn't I was stuck my shyness ah damn it I'd try and I'd give up and I'd sort of fidget around and probably looked uncomfortable and he eventually laid the big one he started talking about the company I work at and sort of aspiring to end up there one day and as if that was the place where he would find completion and success and I guess that's where I'll go same as I did that was enough too many coincidences this week has been a string of coincidences and it led to that one moment so far this has been the peak moment I had to talk to him so I did I turned my head and I started talking to him and what followed was a blind unpouring of everything in my heart onto him one artist to another just telling him live life damn it live it pick the hard direction it's rough yes you will live a rough artist life but you will make real art you will live you will have experiences you will feel life every step of the way if you go where I'm going you're gonna get numb you're gonna forget yourself you're gonna get there you're gonna climb the ladder and when you get up there you're gonna realize crap this is empty there's nothing here I told him to follow his heart I told him that I'm here back in the place where my heart was pointing me in the first place and what he's feeling this path in his heart that he feels is a better path for him even though it's harder he should follow it this is the advice I gave him because that's what I'm doing from this point forward trying to find a balance and a way to do this right and we had a heart to heart and I think I touched both of them and they touched me I mean I got a payoff out of this too this amazing long conversation that followed between total strangers but at the same time closest friends and I told them at the end of how I've been meaning to record subway conversations just like this but I've been too shy and I wish I would have recorded that exact conversation but I'll tell you what it has encouraged me more than ever that I need to do this I need to start talking to people on the subway like this it worked beautifully in this case and I think he appreciated it greatly and I may have changed his life in a huge way I felt the buzz the buzz of 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 what is it satisfaction the buzz of having done the right thing the thing that I am meant to do I saw a piece of it tonight I felt a piece of it amazing what a week what a week what an unbelievable string of coincidences that led to this unbelievably coincidental moment my mind is blown right now blown on uh, on this amazing 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 quality of life to once in a while throw you these crazy coincidences now I don't know where this is all leading for me because things seem to be accelerating and coincidences seem to be getting thicker and bigger and it's exciting and scary and I'm doing this podcast trying to record it but at the same time I'm behind on the podcast I need to catch up to this but I could not hold this one back. I don't care if it's way early to get into half these topics. This was amazing. If any of you two guys are listening, I hope, truly hope, I truly wish you good journeys. And I thank you for sharing that moment with me because it gave me as much as I gave you. And that's so beautiful. <sighs> and for anyone who's not an artist, same thing. Your heart, the thing that since you were a child has been guiding you towards a particular path, is the path for you. Don't get distracted by shinier paths or easier paths. 
because you will fall out of it eventually and end up right where you made that wrong turn. Where I am right now, that is exactly the situation I'm in. I'm back where I made a wrong turn years ago. An age ago, so long ago it seems. And through rough experiences and getting lost and finding myself again, what I've learned is that if you just follow your heart, you will go the right way. The right way is not necessarily the easy way or the way that makes sense. But that seed of direction is in your heart for a reason, I believe. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to follow it, whatever it says. Just do it with purity. Do it with love and good intentions for the world. And you can't go wrong. And at the end of your life, you will have lived 20 times more. Unimaginable times more than if you had just gone the easy route and lazied your way out of life. Right out of living. Your life. And one last thing. Walking home through the park behind my house, uh, I often just stare at the night sky and wonder. And tonight, I stared up at that sky wondering what the heck this week and this moment was all about and just the immense coincidence of it all. And that sky was the crispest, clearest, starry sky I have ever seen in that park. The stars were burning bright and sharp, and just everything seemed in harmony. Wow. Wow. Amazing. What an amazing day. I have nothing more to say. I have nothing more to say. Till next time.